Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis in which this video could be described as one of the most important videos I have ever made on this channel talking about Bitcoin. Why is it so important you might ask? Well Bitcoin right now is at an absolutely crucial level of support. Massive confluence at this level. We know if lost could lead to a very big extended move to the downside. But we are at the support, we have taken longs. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking you through the current trades that I am in right now, where we are looking for the next target of these trades and how we can expect price action to go over the week ahead of us. It's gonna be a very, very good video. And I am gonna break the norms of YouTube videos. I am not gonna be shilling you an altcoin at the very top. I am not going to be shouting at you asking for likes on this video. I'm not gonna show you some private jets and cars to promote a fake get rich scre <laughs> get rich scream get rich scheme in trading. No, none of this. What I'm gonna give you today <laughs> is some professional technical analysis from the heart, from what I love. All I ask of you right now is to pay attention. I'm doing this video for your benefit. I'm struggling, I'm, I'm ill. I wanted to do this video today because I truly, truly, truly know you will 100% be benefiting from this video. You can make much better informed decisions when you're coming to your trades on the week ahead. So all I ask, one simple thing, is that you block the, <laughs> block the distractions around you <laughs> and just, just give me your attention. The guy that can barely speak English. Yeah, I'm asking you for your attention, not because of that, but because I know what I'm talking about here on the charts and you're gonna wanna know what, what we're trading from. Okay, so yeah, that's that's the introduction. <laughs> Hope that you uh, thoroughly enjoyed the video, everybody. And, um, you know, let, let's get into the magic. <laughs> let's get into the love of our lives and that is trading Bitcoin. So uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Oh, well, here we go. The way that I'm going to work today's video is, of course, I've told you I want to talk you through here. I can actually give you the exact level of resistance that we're rejecting from here for a move to the downside. Um, I'm, I'm going to talk you through this and obviously what we're looking for next. I want to, first of all, as normal with these videos, talk you through the last you know, few days of price action here. Obviously, primarily this zone here, which led to a rise in price and then obviously the resistance that we're at now. Okay, so for about five minutes, I'm going to educate you by talking you through this bit of price action. Okay, so it's very important to understand why we are pulling back from the level we're pulling back from and why we even got to this level in the first place. Okay, it's very, very, very important if you want to trade successfully. Okay, so we're obviously picking up from the last video that I made where, you know, the title of the video is Bitcoin ready for a massive pump. Last video back on Friday. Obviously, we're also talking about the Elliott Wave Camp. OK, and the more that this progressed, the more likely that we had seen actually a significant bottom here of, on the way five. OK, you might be thinking to yourself, you know, what was what was the reasonings for this? Well, there was a there was a bunch of reasons why this become more and more likely as as the week, well, as, you know, as the week went on. We're talking about Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we started to see extreme uh, selling at the lows. We started to see extreme panic at the lows in terms of you know, people trading the news, you know, people are getting scared about coronavirus, people are getting scared about a bear market, people are getting scared, you know, for, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, the only thing we care about is the orders that are coming in. Okay, and we saw a lot of selling at the lows. This was a, this was a factor. Factor number two, speaking to other large crypto wells in the market, they were all fairly convinced that we're going to see a move to the upside for at least a short term rally before seeing lower again. OK, but why was the consensus between us strong that we will at least see a rally before further downside? Because we were at such a significant, as mentioned earlier, such a significant level of support. It would be unusual not to see this defended. OK, obviously defended it has been now. But to, to, to not expect a bounce on this zone, you know, would have been quite strange. But I actually want to talk you through here. Um, for, for, you know, this is just really, 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 really important. And you know, I see this happen a lot. So you need to understand what is happening here and, and how you can, you know, how you can help yourselves really. So I want to just talk you briefly through this move to the downside that uh, happened yesterday. 
Okay, it all started up at around Sunday morning, UK time, of course, uh, with a rally. Okay, price starts rallying to the upside. What could be some mixture of emotions that are occurring right here? Okay, you're going to be thinking, hey, we've seen a bottom. Uh, price is moving up. I need to get into my long positions. A little bit of FOMO starts to occur. No, morning rally. You wake up, you see green, you see price action going up. You, you know, your emotions are, I want to get involved. You know, people have started to say, oh, you know, Bitcoin's looking for a rally. You know, the falling wedges are coming out. You know, I need to get involved here. There's, you know, the FOMO is slightly starting to pick up. Okay, what happens is, you, you know, you get involved, you buy, you wake up, don't do any analysis. You see something, you, you click buy on your phone from bed and, uh, you know, it's the end. And uh, it's the end buying here on the top of the rally what what happens then during the day okay price starts to pull back pull back pull back pull back oh maybe a swing failure pattern took the lows back up or maybe you end up buying a little bit more here okay and then what happens price drops even more and it drops even more and it eventually comes down and takes the double bottom lows and let's say you have bought the original rally you bought even more you bought even more hey I know, I will continue to buy this drop, stop loss, below the lows. What happens? Price wicks down those stop losses, long positions get wrecked, <laughs> and um, then obviously the bounce occurs. What could have prepared you for this? Well, there was a few things that could have prepared you for this. First of all, <laughs> yesterday in the Champions Group, I made one single post one post in the group yesterday i didn't present a bullish and a bearish scenario what could happen here the the levels of supports and resistances no one single post was made in my group one and it was during the top of that rally i really simply drew this line i gave my plan we're going to come down we're going to take the double bottom lows for the swing failure pattern failed auction move and then we're going to rally to the upside simple analysis no really 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 simple made my plan which is included a short the short here is obviously you know, basically i was envisaging we put in a continue this lower high structure very easy short position stop loss above the high of the range and i'm looking for the double bottoms to be taken out okay i think okay what was the confluence that you had here well we had the legend himself igor two days ago actually on the 26th giving 53,380 as his exact level for longing. And he himself was expecting a very large pump out of this. So in the back of my mind, obviously remembering Igor had given this level a very serious level for himself. My uh, own trading plan includes the run of the lows all coming together. Okay, it all came together really nicely. As you can see that that prediction went really 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 nicely because we did put in that high where i thought we did come in and we obviously swing failure pattern that low the only way you could have really been prepared is if you've studied our content you've learned swing failure patterns or you're in the group and you are aware of this you know for people that were not aware of that post it's very likely the majority of people lost money on that because the majority of people would have had their stop losses here whereas that was where we were buying okay so you can kind of understand why that's so important to first of all not not buy when the highest likely probability is we're going down not to buy in fomo not to buy you know poor swing failure patterns but no overall you've got to stick to the plan and that is a run of the lows swing failure pattern off of my levels off of eagle levels and obviously we get that we got our swing failure pattern you know yesterday evening yeah, okay so from the original post which was around 11 a.m we actually got the swing failure pattern at you know, near, nearly, you know, quarter to seven here. Okay, UK time. So we got our swing failure pattern. Okay, that's obviously our long entry. What we're doing here, we've got, I personally was very aggressive longing at the low of this wick. But even if you miss the low of the wick, you're giving plenty of time to take a, an entry. Okay, a long entry, of course. Stop loss below the wick. And a target, well... If you were again in the champions live stream last night, I emphasize this actually could be a nice swing trade. Okay, we can look at the top of the range, but I feel that we have a nice swing trade idea here. Obviously, oh, it's not obvious, I suppose, but we did actually break the top of the range with zero resistance. We just flew straight through it. We threw through the view through the top of the range, through the daily. You know, we kind of just 
went through everything. So swing fire pattern off the lower the range, off of the magic Igor level, and you know the, the rest. The rest is history. It really, really extended that move to the upside, you know, bringing us up very, very, very quickly. Okay, I, was, I you know I'm going to show you a few posts here just because it's absolutely crazy. But you know many people able to highly leverage. Um, you know to be. <laughs> highly leveraged longs because obviously some people are like hey how why are you using such high leverage but if you have a very good plan where the entry you know if, if, if you are actually good with risk management you could use high leverage again i am not advocating high leverage i'm saying make your plan and if it falls into part of your plan like it did here with logistics then um you know you can use high leverage you know this is a good reply you know Times 100 leverage is definitely a way to get wrecked if you don't use it properly. He's only using it on cross leverage, using 1% of his capital. So anyway, where I'm going with this is when you have such a, when you do have such precision on the plans, you obviously could up the leverage if, if one wants to. Okay. But he wanted to, and it paid out very greatly. And uh, you know, I just emphasize all this because it was funny. Uh, I, I always do my own technical analysis. But this time, when myself and Eagle give the exact same level to Long at 53.300, uh, his uh, technical ass went away and he sets his limit Longs at 53.380. And of course, we had a absolutely massive pump. Very, very, very happy with that he was. And we could see here a uh, lot of other people managing to capture these Longs. You know, an unreal amount of people. I couldn't even retweet everybody that captured it. But basically, we had a lot of Longs captured. I think people would be in disbelief with those these types of predictions. Direct move to the downside, take the swing failure pattern for the pump, exactly as predicted, each step of the way. Break the range high, no rejection, and we're obviously looking up for our next level of resistance. Okay. So I hope that that was um, you know, educational of talking you through why I was predicting this, how we then finished our wave five, and why we got such a move to the upside. All came together really nicely, no? And, you know, that really brings us on to then, okay, what was this next level of resistance? You know, what was here? Okay, what, what, what are we rejecting from? And actually, it was, it was very technical, very, very technical. Okay, so these are our Eagle sessions. And, you know, I was mentioning this in my Champions live stream last night. This was our only uh, Eagle session that we were monitoring for the upside. And again, when we were talking about it, we were here during the stream. We had a whole gap of no eagle sessions and we move up directly up to around that 58 200 zone of that naked daily um eagle session i will show you this on a zoomed in view okay but as i'm saying here you know perfect rejection off of that eagle session that we talked about in last night's champions live stream you can see here the precision this is uh on exo we come up we get our wick into that level you can see here we form a row of single prints in the is1 and of course well it's not of course but we did get a rejection off of that what did we then get for a bit of confirmation of okay this actually is an acceptable day trade short position well we obviously got our initial wick we come back down and we form our retest with very big bearish divergences okay so it's just that sort of confirmation trade what's happening don't trade what you want don't trade a bias Tra let's trade what's happening we've really simply seen ourselves come up into the level that we had marked down as an intraday resistance we have rejected off of that intraday resistance and then for a very nice bit of confirmation we've then got bearish divergences on the order flow here on the subsequent retest of the level so again we are offers a very low risk short position okay overall we could say we have a bullish bias okay we haven't lost any major levels of support we have just rejected from a technical level but at the moment we could still say this is part of a bull flag for example and looking for higher levels and what could invalidate this well if we start to break major levels of support of this uptrends then our opinions on that could change of course but as it stands one can still remain with that bullish bias and one can still remain looking for higher on the swing trade example okay on the swing trade example which was from the swing failure pan down here okay of course we could have hit a take profit on that long position um but there's no i would personally say there's no need to absolutely fully close it yet why because we actually have not lost a higher term time frame level of support of this uptrend locally okay so i hope that makes sense 
and um now obviously that brings us up to okay then so what are those major levels of support what are those major levels of resistance and what are we looking for next okay before i get into this i want to actually talk about something that's really 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 interesting and that was this post over on on twitter um you know don't you find it hilarious i just want you to think about this for a second but uh, you know other people when price drops you know and they're getting liquidated they're Price is not going as predicted. And just on Friday, last week, when price dropped, how many people did you say, see, say, hey, this is because of COVID. This dropped because it's, it's because of the COVID variant. I even saw people saying, hey, this is a black swan event. You know, I'm, I'm face palming really hard because I'm saying that this was a really, really, really technical short. We were rejected off of the top of our way four. <laughs> we were rejected off the top of our way four. We come into the CC absolutely perfectly on that way four. This drop was to be expected. But no, you've got people that refuse to even acknowledge technical analysis or they do technical analysis and they need an excuse for when they're wrong. And their excuse that they turn to, oh, it was the COVID variant, of course. Oh, how silly me for forgetting this. You know, I just find that hilarious. Every every move down is manipulation. When there's a big pump, oh yeah, there's no problem with it. You have to think, you know, it's kind of ironic, right? Uh, champion, make money with the way down, make money with the way up. Block the noise and trade the charts. Because don't you find this hilarious? The people that were moaning about manipulation or the COVID variant on the drop, as soon as price rises, everybody forgets about the COVID variant and, um, you know, it's just part of the price action. I hope that you can just truly see how can you how can you think that this is run by anything else other than the technical analysis? How can we make such predictions? Igor, days days in advance, myself hours in advance, calling the exact moves to the exact levels of support. It's based off of technical analysis. Yeah, it's based off of the traders that are trading this market. It's based off of the wells, which have enough capital to do whatever they want with the price action. It's not got anything to do with COVID variants. And I truly hope that you can see that with this analysis today. Yeah, it's like this guy said here. Um, <laughs> where was that post? Because it was, it was hilarious. Yeah, you know, people are going to be in disbelief. People are not going to believe this. You have to see it with your own eyes to see that this was talked about days in advance before it happens. The predictions, the levels, the price action to go exactly as we predict is no, 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 not random. Yeah, it's not random any way, shape or form. Anyone that tells you that, share them this video. Just send them this video and say, if this was to do with COVID or whatever their excuse may be, <laughs> how are we able to predict the bottom two days in advance? Are we able to predict the price action before it's happened with extreme accuracy? Again, there was not three predictions thrown out. There was not even two. There was one, one single prediction given by myself and it was this. And it went exactly as predicted that day. Yeah, anyone talking about COVID variants, they're searching for excuses because they lost the trade, period. Okay, uh, and I digress with that. Um, okay, <laughs> that's just really, really, really wanted to get that off my chest. The second thing that I wanted to remind you of is that obviously we have a contenders live stream on Wednesday. Uh, will be hosted by myself talking about spot versus derivatives futures trading. So even if you don't trade futures, and you're just a spot or you're just a hodler. I do feel that this is a really, really crucial, 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 crucial live stream to attend. Uh, you know, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to understand how I'm trading this, you know, and understand fully the difference between spot and derivatives, how you can actually trade both simultaneously using that massively to your advantage. I will be covering this on Wednesday in the contenders live stream. It's obviously for all contenders, all champions on chartchampions.com. It's like a video like this, but times 10 more focus, times 10 more, you know, just, just this, this video on steroids, yeah, and a lot, lot more detail. That's what I'll be going through on Wednesday. So, uh, yeah, if you want to join up for this, I'll be obviously on the webinar, chartchampions.com. Okay, those are the two bits I wanted to talk about here before we get on to what's happening right now, what are we looking for next? Okay, well, obviously, we have currently rejected, as I, as I told you, from the old, uh, Eagle session, okay? That was the last level that we were looking at. There is actually a few levels of confluence here that we have, okay? So let me let me talk you through this because it was kind of, it was really nice actually, the confluences. Uh, we obviously came up into our 786 Fibonacci. Okay, we got through the CC, which was, uh, there obviously was no confluence at the CC. And this is what I will say, do not take every single CC trade, yeah? Because you have to search for levels of confluence. If there's nothing else there, don't take the trade. 
Okay, so we got through the CC onto the 786. What was the confluence of this 786 then? Obviously, as mentioned, we had the EOR session. We want to see some other really, really brilliant confluences that we had here. Okay, take the, uh, obviously, this is where our week, first weekly rejection was. Yeah, this was our weekly level, and we start to come down. So what you can do is you can pull this tool, okay, and we're going to connect it from the top of that weekly rise to the next wick, okay? And this is giving us our downtrend line. You can zoom in here and see how nice this is. Wick, rejection, trend line, rejection, trend line, rejection, trend line, rejection. I think this is an extremely respected trend line, isn't it? One, two, three, four exact touches. Okay, we come up for the fifth touch, temporarily getting through it. But as we all know, this was obviously coming into our CC. Remember when we were putting this high to low? And this is obviously where we had the confluence at the CC because we had our harmonics. Okay, we come up into the CC and we reject. All right, but we can see here, absolute respect of the trend line. What happened again? Look at the confluence. We had the trend line once more on the 786, on the Eagle session. If anybody tells you this is not a good short position, well, I kind of don't understand because it is actually a good short position. <laughs> okay, uh, you know, we have to trade the high probabilities. You know, we're seeing three different factors of confluence here. Okay, I am not saying that we cannot just do this and, and pump up. Of course, I think this is a high possibility because at the moment we have not lost any major levels of support. But to say this is not a good short just because we can go higher is, is not true. This is an intraday scalp traders short position, period. Okay, that was the confluence that we had and that's why we rejected where we rejected from. No random pivots at all. Nothing is random in this market. Okay, so obviously we saw a move to the upside and we're starting to get a pullback. So where can we say the next levels of support? I will look at this. We have another eagle session below us. It gives us support of around uh, 50, you know, write this down, 56,380. I think this is a fairly key level, to be honest with you, because if we lose that, we're coming back down to test the old range high. Okay, then it could start to look more bearish. But while we hold that support, I don't think there's any reason why we cannot think we can push higher in this Bitcoin chart. Now, we're talking about 60,000 plus dollars. Why can we not get that? Well, while we hold support, I believe we can get it. Okay, if we lose support, my opinion will change understand that okay so we obviously have that ego session that i just told you and below this we obviously have the cc okay at the cc we obviously do have a fair bit of confidence because we're coming back on to test our old range i would be um, slightly cautious of it coming back to the cc and longing this because it's gonna not look, look like a bull flag that would be too much to the downside um it would be a major red flag okay if we come down this low but as it stands right now no reason to believe that we are not going to see another high, okay, over the coming week, okay, to head up towards $60,000. Again, I think you can all comprehend, I'm going to trade what happens on this chart. I have no, I have a personal bias of where I think price is going, but as a professional trader, I'm able to accept, hey, if I see something that contradicts my opinion, if I see something in the chart that tells me close this long, you know, add on to short positions, I'm going to do it with no hesitation. Yeah, I'm very open. And I think this is, you know, this is helpful. I'm very open to say, hey, I'm wrong. Okay. And by by admitting I'm wrong, I'm able to, you know, trade what's actually happening. It's a very good skill. Uh, skill, I'm not sure the right word. It's a very good, uh, you know, thing to have as a trader. But um, yeah, as it stands, we are holding support. So wh why would I not think we can go higher? The level we are rejected from, yes, is a nice short position. I did short that. Um, but overall, let's look for the bull flag first. If this breaks down, well, I can admit I was wrong looking for this. And I will just simply look for lower. Yeah. Simple as that, really, isn't it? Um... So that's the way that I would approach this in terms of overall why I would look for, for higher. Okay, acknowledging the downtrend that we are within right now. Okay, obviously we have the bigger trend line from wave one to two. That gives us, you know, back up into the highs here of, of resistance. Okay, so we got a few, you know, let's be honest, I'm not going to underestimate this. I do acknowledge this is quite a big resistance. Okay, so let's see whether we break down and lose our next major level of support to come back towards the CC. If we lose this one, of course, we can look for new lows, lower down in the Bitcoin chart. But while we are holding support, okay, let's see if we can get another retest of the trend line. 
Okay, if we break this out, we can look back towards the monthly to 60K or higher. Of course, if we reject here and we head down, hold on to the shorts and really simply take it lower. Okay, but you can understand here how this is such a formulated way of trading. You know, you, you are in control of, of your destiny here. <laughs> yeah, you really are. Um, you know, I want to show you a few few screenshots here, which I just think are absolutely phenomenal. Okay. Uh, you know, other people able to capture those lows at 53k, exactly as predicted. You can see people really, really, really putting in a lot of effort. And I mean, I'm about to show you just an unreal amount of <laughs> an unreal amount of money has been made here. But you can all see this come. You know, you don't need to know the asset. This guy's trading Gala um, against Tether on Bybit, and look at this. Doesn't matter what the asset is. Doesn't matter what you think. Trade the analysis. Trade the technicals. And you're walking away a very, very happy person at the end of the day. Yeah, you can trade it long, you can trade it short. CC for life, making three grand yesterday. You know, people very, very, very happy with with the outcomes. Okay, and how do you get to this level? I mean, well, wow, actually, this is insane. There's, there's a lot of money made over the last 24 hours. Okay, look at this. Surprise, surprise! You can make money on the longs. You can make money on the shorts. Woke up for a nice short entry, holding the long from the bottom too, the same as me. That means we can have taken the short on the top of this wick, still maintaining in the long here, and let's see what happens next. If we start to break down crazily, well, of course, we can close that long and look for a new long lower, okay? And we'll maintain that short position. If price managed to rally, we can close that short, maintain the long. Let's trade what's happening. We do not need to know what happens next to make money. We just need to take the trades, take profit one, and let's wait for, you know, let's wait for the outcome. I explained this in great detail in last night's Champions live stream. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it really was. But, I mean, I'm not going to say the names of these people, but you can see extreme amounts of money were <laughs> made yesterday. This is in one day. Uh, you know, personally, I made 10 million. Yeah, 10 million yesterday off of that long. Um so yeah i mean even i will say this is too much money to be making for one person but it goes to show you that when you know what you're doing and uh you know you've built up the capital through the hard work then yeah that's the market the market right now is a playground so, yeah you're actively participating in areas you're able to make a difference to significant lows significant highs and then for now i'm on the sidelines i'm waiting for the outcome you know i've taken my trades and now I'm going to wait to see which one I want to continue with. I'll continue my short. If we lose support, I'll continue my long. If we break up here, I'm in control. I'm planned. I'm ready. Let's see what happens next. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. As I said at the start, I'm not going to ask you for a like. What I will say is if you have enjoyed this video, if it has been helpful, you want to see more, you can make this decision yourself. Give a like if you have enjoyed it. Share this video with your friends, with your family with anybody that you might think this is helpful, even if they're not a trader and they start talking about COVID, share this one with them <laughs> and you'll see how it's absolutely got nothing to do with it, uh, apart from being a nice excuse when you lose your trades. And uh, overall, I just truly hope that this has been beneficial. Uh, I really do. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank you once more, everybody. I will see you on Wednesday for the contenders of the spot versus derivatives trading. And yeah, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great support you've been showing. Uh, you know, I, I can I can see with my eyes that people are really, really loving the videos that I'm making at the moment. Uh, you know, it's, it's brilliant. I'm very happy with this. And uh, even when I'm ill, I'm coming on and I'm giving my best because I feel that we're making a really big difference. And, uh, you know, it's, it's beautiful. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you for all the support. Honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you. It means a lot to me. Uh, I read every single comment. So, um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> of course, this video, not financial advice. I've talked you through the moves for the educational reasons, entertainment. Um, you know, all I am is a trader. So yeah, thank you ever so much. And I will catch you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Have a great day. I love you and goodbye.